Hey YouTube, how's it going? Max here with another video. Today we have here a Dell Inspiron 15 7000. So we're going to replace the hard drive and the battery. So it looks like with this laptop, the, the battery is not holding charge and has been running extremely slow. So we're going to replace the hard disk with an SSD drive. So let's get started. So let's flip this over. Should be about about 10 or 11 screws. We'll start with the top screws first. There's one in this corner right here. And some of these don't come out as long as you unscrew it, you should be fine. So a second screw in the middle, and then third one in this corner. So as you can see here, the breakdown is the same to get to the battery and the drive. So we'll just do it all in one. While we replace the drive, we'll replace the battery as well. screws right here these do come out the only good thing about this model is once you take all the screws out the base cover should come out pretty easy compared to some models where you got to take out the keyboard and whatnot so this is a little bit easier so it shouldn't take long So screws are out. Let's get a little opening tool. So I usually start from this side to pry it out. As you can see here, it's just easier for me that way. Just pop this under like this. And there you go. And you can just go around the edges. And once you heard that click, the base cover is out. So let's put this in the camera right here. There you go. So battery right here and there's a hard drive. So if you need to know the exact battery model you have, you can use this model number right here. That's how you find the exact battery that will fit for your specific model. As you can see here, this battery is a little bit swollen. So we, before it gets worse, we'll go ahead and replace it. So there's a screw right here for the battery. Should be about four screws total. One, second one. Third one. And the fourth one. So for this model, let's see how many RAM sticks we have. So we have one, four gig. And we got another four gig, so that's eight gig total. All right, Sc screws are out, so we can pull the battery out. There you go. As you can see, the battery is pretty swollen. So we'll go ahead and replace it. Before I put in the new battery, I'll also take out this hard drive right here. Screw, there's a screw right here. One right there. And one right here. So if you have this exact same model, I'll also include in the description below a link where you can get the battery for this. Should be about maybe 30 to 
40 bucks on Amazon around that price range. All right, hard drive is out. This is actually a two terabyte, not bad. So I actually do have to take the hard drive cable out. Let's see. There you go. Take the hard drive cable out so you can use it for the new drive. Hard drive is out. So as you can see here, there's my new battery. Still in the still in the package. So I'll go ahead and take that out. And if you want to double check the new battery and the old one, as you can see, they're the same model number, just a slightly different on the looks, but it's the same. So also for the battery, I'll go ahead and take this cable out to use on the new battery. There you go. Once the cable's out, let's Put that in the new battery. And there you go. That's pretty much it. And you can install that right here. Hoping this cable goes in. This is having a hard time going in. So let's make sure it fits. Let's take this gloves out. There you go. A little push and it should go in. And we can go ahead and screw this battery back in here. So make sure that you put the screws to the side so you don't lose them. You'll need four screws total for the battery. There's one here. One on this side. And then two on the bottom. And then the fourth one. All right, so that's pretty much it. Batteries in. Now, as for our new hard drive, we have your Samsung 870 SSD. So these are my go-to for SSD, especially when I'm gaming. These are my go-to. SSD. So this is a 250 gig, way smaller than the one that was in there, but that's fine. So put the hard drive cable in. And there you go. So if you want the drive to be seated a little better, we can take out this plate right here and then install it on the on this SSD. So Let's try that and see if this will fit fine with it. Most times the SSD sit pretty well inside the laptop, so I don't typically use the bracket. But for this one, we'll try it out and see how well it fits and then we'll go from there. So this, for anyone that have this exact model, this should be a fairly quick steps for upgrading the drive all right so the the bracket from the from the old hard drive actually fits this new ssd so i'll so i'll go ahead and replace it there you go and she use those four screws get the bracket in there There you go.
There you go. That's pretty much it, guys. So once you sew that bracket in there, you can go ahead and place it right here. Let's connect it. Make sure the connector is in all the way. It's connected, and then use our three screws. And that should be it. And for anyone that's looking to do the operating system installation, you should be able to find uh, videos for that on our channel. Because I won't, I won't go ahead and show the step for the operating system installation. So I, since I already have a video going over that. So there you go. Batteries replaced. New SSD drive. Two RAM sticks. Fan is good and it's not dirty, so I'm not, so I won't be doing any cleaning on here, but as you can see, everything's all set. And we can go back and close our base cover and put that back in here. Try not to put too much pressure when you have it like this so you don't crack the screen. I usually do it from this side and open the screen up because you don't put too much pressure. And there you go. That's it for today, guys. So if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.